All right. What is going on, everyone? My name is Tom from Red Labs. I hope you have a wonderful Friday in the afternoon. It is a three o'clock here uh, in the Netherlands, and I am about to do some uh, live demonstrations of the Dread Renders package volume three, uh, the plexiglass renders. I will be experimenting with uh, some plexiglass chain, uh, chains and some plexiglass barbed wire. Um, so let's just dive uh, straight into it. Um, what's going on, everyone, in the chat? Hope you're doing fine today. Uh, let's start out by going to my folder here. I'll run it on the screen. And let's drag in these uh, dread renders. So uh, basically what these are, I'll show you a couple of previews. They're super high quality uh, plexiglass renders of uh, barbed wire. And also from chains, like these. Uh, you can get these at the Dreadlabs web store. Um, and if you want to, we also have chrome barbed wire and chrome chains. And we have those in a Dread Render bundle, uh, which uh, basically you have five, five, five euro discount on all three packages altogether. Uh, so yeah, you can check those out in the link in the description. Uh, what's going on, Bad Vibe? What's going on, Eddie? And what's going on, Ferris? How are you all doing? Uh, let's see which one I want to choose. Um, as you can see, there are some, some lighting experiments. These tend to be a little bit darker uh, than these ones, and that's because these are rendered with an HDRI map. So depending on the position of the camera when I render these, uh, these are light different, uh, lighting, the lighting is different, I guess. Yeah, if I hold them together like this, you can actually see. Let's see how I can... Uh, place these best. Oh. I think this is fine. Uh, and now I want to color correct these so that they look uh, kind of similar, so which I'm going to do with the curves menu. Uh, so yeah, and mo uh, some of you I already spoke to last Wednesday in the um, uh, in the Dreadlabs live podcast. Uh, but yeah, how has your, how has your week been, and what do you have what do you guys have planned for the weekend? Let me know in the chat. And I think these need a little bit of color correction, as you can see. Uh, a little bit more towards yellowish, I think. And a little bit more saturated. I guess this is fine. What's up, Todd? What's, uh, what's up, Swan? Uh, what's up, uh, uh, Gonchalo, I think? I hope I pronounced your name correctly. Uh, you want me to make a trap piece here, or I, I don't really understand the question. So let's create a black background because uh, that's always like it kind of always looks a little bit cooler, I guess, in my opinion. Um, so what I wanted to do first is see if I can do some like grainy vintage look to these. Uh, so the way I want to do that is I'm going to make these a little bit lighter. And I'm going to give it a slight blue tint, not too much, uh, a little bit like this. And now I want to create, uh, make these into a smart object. Uh, maybe like blur them just a little bit. And now I want to see what happens if we go to the stylize filter and click on the oil paint. Let's put all of these to 10, make it like super drastic. Uh, I don't know, is this sound from my mic a little bit rusty? Let's see if I if I can connect properly. Um, uh, 
it can be because I've been experiment. Maybe if you were there last uh, podcast, it might be a little bit different. Maybe I'll put the volume a little bit lower. Uh, yeah, let me know if the mic's fine. Uh, it's, okay, this is a little bit too drastic, maybe, but like it gives it a kind of like an airbrush vibe, as you can see, and I really like that. Uh, now we want to make that grainy, right? So I'm going to add another layer. I fill it with 50% grain, and we'll grab the noise filter. And we could have to like overlay or something. Uh, you can see that it kind of starts getting grainy, but there is also a grain filter under the filter value, and I actually I rarely use it, so maybe it's time for me to to check that out. Um, Called film grain or something, right? I so it's kind of intense right now. Let me lower that a bit. Okay. Well, it's definitely interesting. What? Hmm. You get similar results, right? Let's see. So this is with the film grain, and then you watch this. Or this is without the film grain, this is with the noise layer, sorry. And this is with the film grain. Okay, it makes it a little bit lighter. Uh, I'm not sure if I like that, but it's fairly cool, I guess. Uh, what I want to do now is I want to get like a background going on here. <laughs> Probably gin and the input. Uh, that might be the case. I actually uh, cleaned my keyboard uh, last Wednesday. And so for the people who don't know, uh, I spilled gin all over my laptop last Friday um, uh, during the live stream. And I had to clean it up, but um, yeah, it's still a little bit sticky, but it, it works better than it was with. Um, yeah, it still hasn't like fully recovered, so I might go in and clean it again this weekend. See if I can uh, do more damage control there. Okay, so with the twirl effects, you always get like a nice like rotating background. Maybe we also need like a uh, radial blur. Uh, but I only zoom setting. Let's see what happens then. Yeah, like that. Can you even a little more? Mm, it blurs it out too much, right? Sup, how are you doing? Uh, and did I decide the album's weekend? Yes. And um, I, I know that I decided it. I planned it in. I kind of forgot like, which one it was. I uh, Let me see. Uh, if you have suggestions, you can just drop them in the comments too. Uh, let's see what it was. Oh, right. How can I forget this one? It's uh, basically my favorite album of all time. Um, and that is uh, Camp by Childish Gambino. Uh, and I think that album uh, turns 10 years, uh, 10 years old this November, which is crazy. You see how young Gambino is and he already like achieved that much in his career. Like, even like a, like a legendary album, like 10 years old, you know, that's crazy. See what happens if we change it around. Maybe it's like a little bit of a cyan highlight. We need some darkness in between here, I guess. Uh, maybe like a purple. Cool, but a little bit too harsh, I guess. Maybe like make it a little bit lighter. Um, okay, the mic sounds a little bit dull and empty. That's a little weird. Uh, you're writing your dissertation on social robotics, perfect revision grade. Sounds really interesting. Um, okay, so uh, guys, you actually uh, 
have like a. Let's see what happened to pull my mic. Uh, wait, let me just check out something real quick, okay? Okay, so I removed all the audio filters from um, uh, what it's called, from OBS. I hope it sounds a little bit better now because it had some noise suppression and a limiter on it. So it might be that, I'm not sure. Uh, otherwise, it might be like some static weirdness from my uh, USB hub because, uh, yeah, I killed my cable from to my audio interface. Uh, but yeah, I hope this sounds better now. I'll turn the volume a little bit up. Uh, but yeah, what's up ZPL? How are you doing? And what's up Zilla? Hope you guys are doing fine. And it's nice of you to join me here today on some uh, well, yeah, on some cool like design exploration, I guess. Let's increase the contrast a little bit so we have a little bit more dark, but also a little bit more like lighter colors. And I think this is too dark. Mm, and let's switch these around. So there's like a new split in between. Uh, maybe like a, more of a neon greenish. Oh yeah, it might might be just the room because um, yeah, we have to really like isolate our apartment because yeah, it's still also like our living room where I'm working in right now. Um, so it's a little bit uh, hard to you know we I, we can't just turn that into a like work studio. Uh, that's why I'm like when Dread Labs gets a little bit bigger, I might be able to afford like a separate studio where I can just record videos uh, in like a studio with like audio. Uh, What's it called? Proper like audio paneling and stuff. Hey. Hey. Fix it. Yeah. Um, I think there's too many colors in here, so uh, what I might do is try to keep it a little bit more simple. Uh, the charge ca charger cable uh, from my like external monitor just fell out for some reason. Weird. Uh, I think this is fine now. Let's put some back in it. What's up, Martin? Thank you so much. I can't seem to find the fonts. Yeah, I uh, because of this, uh, I can't really like. Uh, sell the fonts with my sticker pack mockup because uh, that they would be like illegally sharing the fonts uh, so that's why I didn't include them um, but yeah if, if you go out to the stream uh, afterwards uh, on discord uh, I'll uh, if you ask me once more I'll send you which fonts they were uh, and then you can just go on your way and uh, play with them a little bit uh, I think this is cool uh, let's see what this looks like with the uh, filters on it. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, now let's see if we can add some glow. So we'll increase the carbon glow of this one to like 25 or something. And we'll put this to lighten. want to see if we can do some chrome type and see what that looks like with the um, what you call it with the oil blend fil filter on it uh, so yeah if you haven't seen my Instagram story last uh, uh, yesterday actually I posted it last night uh, Dreadlabs, Dreadlabs is actually going to expand uh, in terms of uh, which asset packs we're going to sell uh, so we're calling all producers 
and all graphic designers who want to sell asset packs, sample packs, preset packs, uh, whatever you want to call it. Um, and if you would like to sell those on dreadlabs.net, uh, yeah, we have an opportunity for you. So you can just go to the Discord of Dreadlabs. I'll drop it in the chat right now. And there you can just uh, uh, drop it like a proposal and I'll try to look into that. And uh, maybe you can start selling your assets on Dreadlabs. Uh, and the reason why you would do that is because I will charge less uh, commission compared to, for example, Creative Market. They charge 40%, uh, which is quite a lot, especially like if you're a small designer. Uh, so I want to make that less. Right, does someone in the chat have a song that might fit this artwork and that we can kind of like look into? Jesus on re uh, repeat. You mean you like? Uh, are you okay? So you're you, you okay? Uh, I uh, haven't listened to Kanye like for a while. I think the last time was when his uh, Jesus is King uh, album dropped, and I think it's almost two years ago now, right? Like in a few months. Feels like uh, that only like dropped like uh, maybe like six months ago or something. Uh, but yeah, sorry. Um, so, guys in the chat, if you want to uh, pick a album that you should like make a cover for, let me know. We'll see what we can do. Two years already, crazy. All right, so I use the first one as a drop shadow. I'll show you a cool trick later uh, about like uh, editing non-destructively. So we'll remove the Gaussian blur of the uh, top one here, and I'll add a bevel and emboss, and remove the fill. So we get like a glass vibe. <laughs> Power to the people in a red revolver. It's uh, I think it's just. Uh, a lot of people want to start selling through Gumroad, and Gumroad's fine too, but uh, yeah, I think it's it can be cooler than that because I want to create like a community-based feeling, uh, I guess, a little bit more than just like a plain website to sell stuff on, you know? Let's see. I could have sworn that you can use, uh, you could use to like move these uh, gradients around in the layer, uh, well, in the layer style menu. Did they remove that feature? Okay, and now maybe like with an inner glow. the glass pipe going on but I the inner glow is a little bit too too white so lower the opacity of that Grimes and Slater I, uh, I know Grimes but I haven't heard of Slater so um, I want to learn that's also the thing. Like I'm, I'm like I can do some custom logos, but I'm like not an expert on um, what you call it, uh, typeface design or lettering. So yeah, people who would like to sell their fonts on Dreadlabs are also very welcome to do so. Um, all right, so I'll group the background here. 
or I prefer the small object. And I'm not sure what happened here. All right, so they made it a little bit bigger. Uh, they made the canvas bigger, that's why the uh, vignette is like uh, growing, so I'll crop it. Little text as well. Oh yeah, I, I kind of know why. Uh, why? Because um, Tupix, the designer, uh, does his artworks now, right? Really cool stuff. All right, so I'll make a selection. And based on that selection, I'm gonna gauge and blur the background. Maybe a little bit less. Something like this, and then we can go to the filter gallery menu. And under the store desert glass filter. And I'll go with these settings and you get that like little a little distortion and I think I want to go and put the Gaussian blur on top of that and then just lower the Gaussian blur so we have the, dis the distorted glass effect but then like a little bit like less drastic like this are you thinking of Post Malone? Hmm, Post Malone can be also like yeah I can kind of see that they would fit in in this style. Can't wait for him to bring uh, bring out a new album. It's also with the oh, wow Hollywood's bleeding is also from twenty nineteen, right? Also two years ago now. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like I've lost a year in twenty twenty. You know, like you just skipped one. Let's see what happens if we do this. Okay, this is what kind of what I was going for. Uh, so what happens if we increase that to 50? Go with 25 and then up the opacity. We'll get the drop shadow, but it won't like affect our uh, actual glass. Oh, you didn't like Hollywood's Bleeding? Why? I thought it was pretty good. Uh, maybe even like a, uh, a motion blur or something. Um, well, I think I'm thinking of something that might be cool. Uh, so we'll go with motion blur 45 degrees pretty drastic something like this and then we're just going to paint it out or paint it in actually so we're going to use a white brush pretty cool um, maybe it'll drop another one in later yeah it's quite different a lot of people also like talked about this album it sounded, it sounded like kind of like pop more and like like hip-hop or something you know I, I kind of felt that uh, what's that song called like uh, a thousand bad times it doesn't really like Sounds a little bit more like pop, right? Someone even like said that it sounded like uh, One Direction. Um, I want to 
found something in the middle here. But I'm not sure what. I'll just draw an ellipse. Let's see where to go from there. Okay, so now we have a duplicated like uh, thing uh, from our uh, chains here. Let's see what we can do with that. a little bit, see what that looks like, add some saturation, but not that much, oh, should I fix the mic, what's that, what's, what's wrong with the mic, I uh, might have to go and like, uh, see for myself like after the stream what's wrong with it, Oh wait, hard, do, you, do you guys hear the crackling? Is that what you're hearing? Wait, can you hear? Oh, if that's what you're hearing, that's not something with the mic. That's my girlfriend. She's in the background, like uh, doing Sorry. something with plastic bags. Sorry. <laughs> I'm not really sure if, that, if it's that yet. What's up, Bartek? <laughs> Revolver was asking, what is Kabi making in the background? Is she packaging the plants? <laughs> uh, now she's actually doing uh, what is called diamond painting, I think. Is it called diamond painting? Yeah. Uh, it's a newly discovered hobby of hers. Like she discovered it this week. We talked about it in the podcast. Oh yeah, we talked about it in the podcast actually uh, from last week. Um, Oh, I'll put it in mic. Okay, cool. Thank you, Paul. Huh. Let's see what, what, should, what should we do here. <laughs> okay, yeah, some people saying that that, that was a crackling. Sorry. <laughs> but then uh, Martin is saying, uh, let her do the work. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking like uh, there was like uh, the gin effect in my microphone oh, or something. Yeah. If you want some gin, uh, you should tell me. Uh, I'm I'm too scared to drink gin anymore. Even if they in a, a big glass, a beer glass. Oh yeah, uh, actually we had uh, another like a uh, cold beer. Oh yeah. Do you want it now? Uh yeah sure. And do you want it in bottle or in a glass? Hmm. Maybe just in the bottle. Yeah. I think it's safer. Right? It's cool. Okay, see if we can restore it a little bit better with the uh, liquefied tool. Okay, Looks kind of cool, but I'm not really sure about the blend. Not yet. You want a cookie with it? Uh, no, thank you. <laughs> a ticket? Uh, no, thanks. <laughs> Maybe I should change the hue back. Yeah. Or to something a little more. This is actually pretty cool. I, I want to duplicate this into a new layer. Uh, okay, I think we need to leave this for now. Be careful. I will leave my beer as far from the laptop as possible. Okay, it kind of looks okay, but um, yeah, I think this is fine for now. Let's just do what it, go in another artwork and see where to go from there. Um, I want to use this as the base, and then we'll go and grab a, a 
barbed wire this time. Then you're going with depth of field. Basically, like the background's a little bit more blurry. Like this. Or maybe this one. This one looks kind of cool. And we'll see if we can uh, try to Photoshop this thing in the front. Okay, so uh, we'll add a mask to the barbed wire one. And we'll press Command Select of our layer in the background. And let's see, we'll start painting. This is basically, this is usually how I, uh, if I, if I have no direction to go in, I just go with this and like try to play with it. Uh, make some weird gradients, use a little distortion, maybe like some textures. And I think we can also like try to use this U uh, over the, uh, over the like part wire. So I'll just blow this up a lot like this and I'll put the blend with the normal. And if we clip that and then maybe like use the U, it's pretty cool. Maybe the color is kind of too harsh, right? Let's go with the U. <laughs> I'll be careful, Lily. Okay, and let's put a background. Let's put a black background. I'm already so bad at like pronouncing things. And then you have these tongue breakers to deal with. All right. Okay, this looks kind of cool. Um, so I might want to give this a little bit more depth, like the thing in the background. So what I want to do is I'm going to make another circle. In the middle here, or I feel like the middle is a little more here due to the colors, but um, I'll remove the fill and I'll give it an inner glow and see what that looks like. To give like a kind of a sphere uh, look, I guess. See what I mean? And I also do love combining green and yellow with purple. <laughs> I guess I always like kind of start out with the dreadlocks colors, even if, even if it's like for a client work or something, you know. Unless the client uh, specifies like, oh, I want to have this uh, in I like uh, I like blue or something. Uh, let's give a little bit of a butter to make it uh, a little smoother, maybe like five. Yeah, to make the edge uh, do its thing, uh, look a little bit more smooth. And perhaps, I'm not really sure if we can do that. Mm. Let me open up Illustrator. And I am going to draw a line. Just a normal line. And I'm going to go to Effect, Distort and Transform, Zigzag, make it a little more drastic. Uh, I'll put the like, transition to uh, have one point like the a little more thin. Uh, let's go into the appearance panel and change the zigzag a little bit, maybe a little less segments. Like this. it up a little bit okay so now I have the shape I guess um, I'll put one point in the middle of the canvas and I'll rotate some uh, through it like maybe 12 times And I'll paste this back into Photoshop. And I'll align it with our like uh, little 
little circle there, but that's not possible because it's like super opaque. And why can I not transform it? Oh. Um, so yeah, people in the chat, have you ever considered like selling assets of your design work or maybe like your, your music sample pack? And uh, would you be interested in selling that on Dreadlabs? Uh, let me mask this out now. Uh, blur the mask a little bit so the edge will be that hard. Let's see if we can apply some really cool like styles to this. Maybe like a bevel and emboss or like a really small one to give like a chrome-ish look. It's a little bit too big now because the lines are just like so thin. Hmm. I really dig this, so maybe like an inner glow smaller and out of level. And I'll make this like mask a little bit smaller and I'm gonna have it blur even more. So I think I can just maybe like group this. So if I group this and then uh, put the mask there, because if we use this mask here, uh, we will affect the uh, inner and the outer glow, and we don't really want that. So if we do it like this, the transition will should be a lot smoother. Yeah, like this. So Fabio, thank you so much. How's life in Italy, man? Um, and yeah, to answer your uh, like, well, not a question, Eddie, but um, it's really hard to, to do like a uh, custom font. I feel you. Uh, Santiago, yeah, um, the the like the weird noise in the background. I think that's uh, like my girlfriend's in the background, like doing something with plastic. Uh, she's over there, <laughs> but yeah, this. Uh, uh, we don't worry about it. <laughs> she, 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 she's trying to be quiet. She's doing her best. <laughs> I can stop. Is it really annoying? Do I need to stop? Um. Yes. No. No. You can just continue. Yeah. No problem. I want to make my room. Uh, let's see what happens if we put a troll on this. Ooh, we can get some crazy things. It, it, it doesn't even like rotate around properly, so. Okay, we can get kind of like an energy ball here, as you can see. Um, I'm not really sure about this. So maybe I want to blur this a little bit more. So the colors will be a little bit smoother. And then I maybe want to uh, make it a little bit more light. Because I think these change, these uh, well, uh, plexiglass things, they look best when you like have like really like vivid and bright. But that's just my opinion. You know, like this. Uh, let's just create a smart object out of this. Oh wait, not yet. Um, so I want to do this one. The same effects on top here. I don't want to blur this really hard to make this a, a glow. Now I'm not really sure why. Oh wait, I haven't copied this color yet. Let's do lighten. Uh, 
Gabby. Uh, Revolver says to you, Gabby, you're doing fine. Continue, girl. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, uh, it's a. Uh, it takes a lot while to master like custom lettering, but once you can actually do it, it's uh, you'll be rewarded because yeah, you can get really rich from selling fonts, and it will be that will obviously that's a reward, you know. But wait, was the noise one of these old ones? Oh no, it was a revolver. Oh, revolver. Yeah. I like him too. <laughs> He's very kind to me. <laughs> I don't know if you heard revolver, but uh, Gabi says that you're very kind to him. Uh, that, that you are very kind to her. And Did that she call me him? him? What? Did you call me him? Me or him? I thought you, you called me a him. Oh, I might have mispronounced, sorry. <laughs> Will I be able to sell tr uh, 3D assets? Uh, definitely, what kind of uh, 3D assets do you have in mind? Uh, I would like to start selling 3D models, maybe like uh, 3D material packs, scenes maybe even. Also, I want to really like share something with you guys uh, that I made the other that I made actually today before the live stream, but I'll do it on my story uh, after the live stream. Let's blur these like misty clouds a little bit. Maybe like um, a directional blur or the motion blur. Sorry, it's called the directional blur in uh, After Effects, I think. And now it kind of looks like a hazy thing. Uh, and now I want to use this thing on top of that, like a uh, mist kind of thing. I'll put it to normal and then lower the opacity. What's up, Thomas? How are you doing? Thank you for joining us today. In the Red Labs live stream. Okay, it's starting to get pretty cool. Uh, like how abstract it kind of gets. Um, could use a little bit more depth, but then I would dive into 3D. I'm not really like feeling diving into 3D today. Um, hmm. Alright, alright. I had another idea, but I kind of forgot which one I, it was. Okay, so this will auto one. Auto two. Uh, let's just make a new document and I'm gonna grab a uh, shiny texture from Black Market. Definitely a right revolver, and actually, there's a really, really cool uh, class that I found on Skillshare of it. It's uh, run by Harbor Bigmore, uh, I think, and it's called like something like how to create a uh, type, how to create your custom typography with just enough character or something. So, if you're subscribed to Skillshare, I would definitely recommend you check it out. Also, be really cool to see if we can. Okay, what happens if we do this? Hmm. So, PG Magnum, I'm uh, experimenting with some uh, 3D renders, uh, as you can see, uh, that you can get in Dreadlabs Web Store. What's up, Nap? Uh, how are you guys doing? 
hope you guys are doing fine. Uh, I'm doing some live design sessions here with the Dread Renders package. You can get that through the link in the description if you want to. Uh, and I want to kind of, kind of demonstrate, uh, see if I can make something cool with it. And uh, yeah, you guys can come out, ask me questions about design, about life, uh, but anything in general, if you like to. Uh, and to just have a good time overall. Let's increase the saturation on this and maybe like a would be nice if we have it a little bit lighter. So, what happens if we go to the smart object like this? It's always so nice to just like start doing random stuff and experimenting with blend, blend modes, you know? Future also does typography videos. I haven't really seen those. Gotta check those out. Um, so yeah, this is my full-time job actually. I do uh, freelance cover artworks, lyric video animations, um, overall graphic design work, and next to that I have my platform Red Labs here with all of you guys, uh, where we can like talk creativity together, uh, talk about design, talk about well basically anything. Uh, that's creativity related, of course. And uh, yeah, that, that's what I do in uh, my daily life. Um, hmm. What if we make this black and white? Uh, so yeah, if you want to become a... Uh, graphic designer, if you want to become a better graphic designer, or if you want to learn how to do clients, or about anything in creativity, the Dread Labs is for you, my friend. I'm um, not really feeling this one, so I'm just going to delete it. Ever consider making textile designs? Uh, I feel like, um, oh, you mean like patterns and stuff? That would be really cool. I've never really looked into that, actually. Um, I don't know if you uh, are on our Discord, Martin, but it would be really cool to talk about that uh, after the stream, maybe, or uh, like sometime later, in anyway, if you have the time. Uh, because that sounds pretty interesting. Also, I uh, had a meeting today about. Uh, well, Dreadlabs Clothing, which is going to launch fairly soon, I think in the coming months somewhere. Uh, say, um, clothing, it will be a clothing brand uh, together with uh, like guides on how to start your own clothing brand. So if you're, like, if you're a fashion enthusiast, uh, next to design, that will be the, the place for you. Alright, so let's make it like this and then uh, but yeah, we had a big meeting on that and um, I'm really excited on what's to come. Uh, let's grab some of the marble textures, if my finder allows me to. Drop everything. Yeah. Ouch. My girlfriend just dropped a lot of like small marbles uh, on the floor. I think we need to vacuum them. Don't you need them for your uh, work? Hmm? Don't you need them for the artwork? Mm, maybe. Hmm. <laughs> I'll put another one. <laughs> and I think it's gonna be like a wolf. So. Okay. Uh, I will improvise. You know how I rule. Eh? Um, what's up, Sky Dominic? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. How's life in the Philippines, man? Um, I do have a degree, but I learned a lot myself. Uh, I think mo most of my design skills are like self-taught. I actually have a video on my channel if you, or if you should go or should not go to uh, college to get a degree in design. 
I personally not really sure if I would have needed it. Not your school. Not in my school, no. Uh, okay, let's see. Uh, I want to make maybe we can smooth this out with the uh, oil paint filter. Oh, I like this so much. I do. I really love this. Um, so maybe like if we do a little Gaussian blur on it, from like three, three pixels or something, and we put that underneath the oil thing. Let's see what happens. What's up, Namo? How are you doing? Here today with my beer instead of my gin tonic. <laughs> So you're actually studying uh, textile design. So what does textile design mean? Is it like fashion design or just like, is it is it textile f in in not in like another context than clothing or yeah? Uh, really curious about that. Oh, nice! You got some DJ gigs before quarantine. Hope they. I hope you like can keep the momentum. Uh, let's say if I want to want chain to be a different hue because like someone said in the chat I do love my purples and my greens but it might be time to do another color Ooh, I like this color as well I don't know why but it makes it kind of looks like like candy or something you know I used to have this candy like uh, it was like a lollipop in in and there was like a toy underneath you remember those uh, you mean it looked like laser beams, I guess. Yeah, with the swirl. Yeah, you also had them like in, in like you get them kind of the, plastic. Uh, the swimming pool. So yeah. yeah. What are those I called? Don't know, uh, uh, toy. Uh, lolly. Oh. You can push them up. Could you? Yeah. Oh, two to one. That's. Or if they have picture. Yeah. Yes, these were the yeah. Th this is what it kind of reminds me of. Okay. Yeah, the these. swirly ones. You can push them up. Yeah, but you also had like uh, non squirrely ones, right? Th yeah, these yeah, ones, these yeah. One. You can get them at the swimming uh, pool. Yeah. <laughs> you know? uh, Are they so seeing this? Oh. Yeah, I, 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 I just put one in Photoshop. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you guys remember these, but yeah, okay, let's, let's change the I don't know if them. it's a Dutch thing or oh. I, I don't think so. <laughs> Look. <laughs> oh my god. They were really. Should we release Dreadlabs candy? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I like candy. Look at this. This, this, yeah. this also uh, it, this literally like in the green and the uh -huh. purple dreadlabs. Aren't you looking for other colors? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. You have a wimper on your oog. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But yeah, you see like this, nice. the plexiglass kind of reminded mm -hmm. me of that. Um, yeah, it's uh, like the, the lollipop on the ring. Yeah. You, you mind? Oh yeah, that's the candy on the ring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did, we never really had those in the Netherlands, so. We did. What did you, oh, I, I never had. Spankapella was on the high. Yeah. <laughs> um. All right. Let's talk in fifteen minutes about candy. Maybe for the next podcast. Welcome to this design live stream where I only talk about. Uh, <laughs> I think it's an idea for the next podcast. Let's see what happens if we do another oil paint filter. Like, do we simplify it even more? We do, nice. I love this, okay. Um, so I wanna give this a little bit of a glow. And we now separate that a little bit better from the background. Push pops, they are called in the UK. Push pops. Push pops. It sounds a little better than yeah. two to one, right? Um, I always wanted to order order like a uh, candy box from the UK or America. A candy box? Yeah, and you have to surprise candy boxes. Oh, where you don't where you don't know what's in it? Yeah, you pay like twenty euros and they send you all UK stuff. Oh, sounds cool. Yeah, 
it's like uh, a recess you never had in the Netherlands Ooh. until a few years. Ah, yeah. Uh, good idea, Memo. Uh, I am actually going to do that. Let me just unclick the oil paint filters here and do some fill blurring. Because here in the here it's starting to get like blurry again. But here it's like the sharpest point. Well not okay, let's leave it at zero, not five and a half. Okay. Uh, and then once we go here, it's blurry again. Oh and I love this. Thank you for the idea memo because this looks way better than already. Gives gives a depth that I need it, yeah. And now let's see what happens if we uh, put on the oil paint. Thank you, Zilla. The background texture is actually available in the Dreadlabs web store as well. It's uh, the marble paint textures. We make these ourselves, me and my girlfriend. Uh, what's up, server 15? Not sure what you are typing here. Did you, did you also spill the uh, gin on your keyboard? <laughs> uh, okay, let's see. Uh, I, I do love this. Um, all right, maybe it's time to do some uh, graphics over, me, over here. Um, okay, so we basically have this uh, shape that's going like this, right? something like this so these areas should kind of like be contained and actually I will just make a screenshot of the artwork we currently have so we can put that in the background uh, so we kind of know where uh, to place our graphics uh, I'll lower the opacity and I thought it would be cool to do like two boxes here um, you're right. Oh, <laughs> so Sarah fifteen said alternative type of flexing my Photoshop skills. Um, well, the, the the point of the video, uh, the live stream, is not to flex, but it's to uh, to inspire you guys and to teach you guys uh, something new. So, if you guys have any questions about. Uh, like what I'm doing here in the process, uh, feel free to ask them and I'll try to answer them. You are flexing. What? You are flexing. Am I? Am I? Yeah. Nah. Yeah. It's all about helping the people, Gavin. Mm -hmm. It is. That's yeah, why I started very much. Do you think I started this channel just to flex on other people? Yeah. <laughs> Look, I I didn't even have cloud when I started this. I had like. Yeah. Uh, I remember. We had nothing. You still make at home. Make videos in your bedroom. I went. I, I, <laughs> I went from making videos in my bedroom to making videos in my living room. <laughs> Next time you're gonna be in the in the keller. Uh, in the basement. Well, if I ever like buy a house, I actually would enjoy yeah, making a studio in the studio. basement. Yeah. yeah, it would be pretty cool, right? What about you guys? Do you guys have a, or, like your own workspaces in the chat, uh, or do you just work from your bedroom, or uh, maybe you have like a full-time job, something uh, like that? Uh, what does your workplace look like? Let me know. I really like to work in bed. He, my girlfriend actually enjoys working in bed. I hate it. Um, yes, uh, Thomas, Memo is correct. I am just using my, uh, what's it called? My MacBook's um, webcam. Sorry. Oh. It's okay. I forgive you. Ooh, 
Eddie, you're working in your kitchen. That sounds uh, tasty. <laughs> Uh, is he a cook? No, he, he works like in, he does like his creative oh. work in the kitchen. Yeah. Uh, you used to do that as well when you were living uh, yeah. at home. Yeah, but it's sort of like a... You had your internship, but because you had to work from home, you worked yeah. in, the, uh, in the kitchen, right? And it was like a separate part, I guess. Uh, and Memo just got a new house, so he's building the ultimate work area. Nice yes. dude. Let us show Memo live. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, you live in India, right, Memo? Not, not sure. Correct me if I'm wrong. Maybe you can visit. I can visit it. Yeah. <laughs> it's quite far uh, for yeah. a trip. <laughs> and then maybe it's in like uh, Belgium, Germany, France. Yeah, if it was in Germany or something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <gasps> what? Abisha. Abisha. <laughs> so my girlfriend just said there's a bug but then she just like said oh no it's a it's a beige <laughs> but basically like it's it's a small critter in touch no it's like the love on it oh it's scary because if there's one there's more that's true yeah what well, i want to be a good fan mom kill it kill the the Thing. No, the boy because of my gasp. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, AI, uh, I hope I pronounced your na name correctly. Uh, I did started using Octane, uh, but I don't use it on my MacBook. So, um, I actually had uh, down here, uh, it's out of my screen, but down there, there's like a really big computer that a friend of my, of my made with a um, RTX 3070 graphics card, I think. It's a really good graphics card and that's why I run it on. So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, but yeah, I, I, I don't know if I was able to, would I would be able to run it on my MacBook though. I, I even like stalled buying it uh, because I was afraid that like, I would buy the software and then I wasn't able to, to run it on my MacBook, you know? So that's how I waited to have like a, um, uh, a proper computer. But I only use, use my computer for 3D stuff now. Uh, but the nice thing is, uh, as I think not many of you know, but um, I'm also like a teacher. I, well, yeah, on YouTube obviously, but I also am, uh, no, I'm uh, a guest teacher at, um, uh, at a, a Fontes University of Applied Sciences, where I also uh, had a minor. And where I'm studying. And where uh, my girlfriend's still currently studying. And I do guest lectures there, mostly on After Effects and graphic design and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, because they uh, are in the process of giving me like a uh, teacher's account, I can uh, run Adobe on my computer here since I have to like teach from home. Uh, so that's nice that we, that I can have actually a uh, second like uh, machine on Adobe. And I know you can actually have two running uh, machines on Adobe. My girlfriend's using one of those. So <laughs> it's one of the pros of being a uh, teacher there, right? You know what I really feel like doing after the stream? Playing Dofus. Playing Dofus? Yeah. Do you guys, does anyone in the chat ever heard of the game Dofus? Because almost no one has heard of this. I wanted to watch a movie. Really? Yeah. Oh. I can Maybe. go and sit in the bathroom, bedroom though. <laughs> in the bedroom? <laughs> no. Maybe, uh, can you ask in the, Oh, uh, Chet, my girlfriend is asking for movie recommendations, so... For, to watch both of us. So uh, to yeah. watch uh, for both of us. Yeah, together. Together. To watch it together. Okay, um... Let's see... I'm like, really like spitballing this. I'm doing this with n no intention of 
knowing what, what I actually will be doing. But uh, yeah. <laughs> Revolver is saying, uh, pretty sure it's illegal uh, for a teacher to have a relationship with a student, okay. yes. so we have to break up. <laughs> uh, so the game is called Dofus, I'll type it in the chat. It's a, it's a French game, I think. So I, I think I'm, uh, only like a lot of, uh, of non-European people don't, don't really know about the game, I think. It's very hard. Although, I did play Although with a guy from Costa Rica. And I I don't really think I'm not my topogra topography is not that great, but I'm pretty sure that Costa Rica doesn't it, it's not like anywhere near Europe, right? No, I think it's in America. In Southern America. Yeah. What's up, Lane? How are you maybe doing, man? Maybe not. <laughs> yeah, maybe not. Uh, so someone saying Riverdale, mm -hmm. um, Kissing Booth, House Moving Castle, Porco Rosso. Uh, I, th I think uh, someone from France is in the chat because uh, Zilla knows Dofus. Uh, the Big Lebowski. That's a movie that I still want to watch. I had classes on that. But what? The Big Lebowski? Uh, is it a Tarantino movie? I think so, right? What? Quentin Tarantino? No. You don't know who that is? I know their names. The director? Oh, okay. okay. Um, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll fill I'll, uh, Fill you up and after the stream, I'll, I'll let you know what it is. <laughs> no. Okay. Um, uh, so it's not really like Dota, but it's a fantasy uh, MMORPG. Um, it's uh, like turn-based. Uh, someone saying Kill Bill. Never seen that as well. Oh. Okay, I think this is starting to get too much. Um, Man, you have to watch a movie. Still planning on playing my game. Yeah. Uh, okay. Can you start a Dreadlabs team on Dreadlabs team? Yeah, we can definitely start a guild. Can you know, like a guild? A guild? A guild? A guild? A guild? I, I don't know how to pronounce it. A cult. Not, not a cult, a guild. A um, guild. Oh. Um, I think you probably want to start a cult. <laughs> A cult. Mm. That left cult. Yeah. Mm. Okay, I think this is just fine. I'll put a title here. Okay, so let me just copy this. Uh -huh. oh. Sorry. And put it here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. this into smart object so we have like uh, we can just remove that background here uh, now we can select this and start creating um, a Gaussian blur that's only affecting here so I'll show you what I mean and I'll put the fill to zero here and give this a bevel and emboss as well as an inner glow a little bit bigger. Super Mega Champions, that's a big game. Uh, Fallen Angels, uh, very visually cool the spider was produced in 1996. Uh, what's up Jackson, how are you doing? Uh, I made a change, in, not in Blender, but in Cinema 4D actually. What's up Swoop, how are you doing? No movie, we can watch. No movie, which one? Rewatch Twilight. Rewatch Twilight? Yeah. No, I will <laughs> never watch that again. 
Those are like 600 minutes from my life I'll never get back. Yeah. Yeah, and you know that. Yeah. Uh, these should be fixed now. Nice. What's up, official AJ? How are you doing, man? How are you guys all doing? Yeah, the chat is really blowing up now. <laughs> With a lot of emojis as well. No, we like a lot of people just saying hi and dropping in. Um, yeah, I hope you guys are all doing fine. <laughs> so Liam is asking how long till the beer goes on the laptop. <laughs> uh, it's almost empty now, so it should be fine. Uh, but yeah, how are you guys all doing? I uh, hope you're doing fine. Uh, welcome to this Threadlabs live stream. to like spam up that badly um but yeah guys um how are you guys all doing uh yeah i'm just making some mm -hmm. uh, artworks with the dreadlabs chains um so if you guys don't know i completely forgot saying this but if you guys want something to re be reviewed um uh, you can just super chat and i'll try to check it out and i'll give you some feedback on it um, so Memo, uh, I'm actually uh, working, uh, well, um, this actually I'm just like working on Dreadlabs store now, so uh, I don't really have a lot of time to create another uh, <laughs> similar to Black Market website. Um, uh, so yeah, um, people in the chat, I actually want to know, do you guys prefer me streaming on YouTube or streaming on Twitch? Um, Oh, and also at what time? Uh, do, do I, uh, let me know if I stream too early or too late, because I'm really not sure. Right, so. Mm. Let's try some experimental stuff. shapes uh, we'll go to the liquify tool and we can twist like uh, what's it called twirl tool I think twirl clockwise tool uh, no maybe we'll just with this much tool The stream time is great, uh, YouTube for sure. It's a good time for both. Yeah, that's a problem in, uh, indeed, Felix. Um, I uh, encountered that I, uh, 3 p.m. for me in the Netherlands is about the only time where I can stream where it's either like no, where it's nowhere at, like at night. You know what I mean? Um, What are all these people saying just text in the chat? What's, hap what's, what's up with that? Um, I'll try to do some typeface here in the top.
Sorry, I don't need to talk too much. It's 11 a.m. here. Yeah, I think these are just bots. I'll just time them out. Uh, all right, so we're gonna do the same here. We'll just fill this uh, with white on the mask filter, or the smart filter, sorry. And I'll copy these uh, layer styles from the bottom to the top here. Work. There you go. Uh, not sure about this though, so this can go now, I think. Uh, let's see what happens if we maybe like do a radial blur on it or something. And now maybe like twirl it or something. There's a lot of people, a lot, lot of bots out of, out of this all of a sudden. You know, you're a real influencer when you make bots. Yeah, you know you're a real YouTuber where, when there's like bots. Um, okay, yeah, uh, like Jackson is saying, someone is view botting the stream, okay? I'm not really sure what that is. But, uh, yeah, I clicked on clear layer styles. Um, so Jackson is saying, uh, you can have more interaction with chat and Twitch, but maybe more distracting. A couple of designers trying to build a community is pretty small. Um, so, uh, Vicarious, uh, the font is called uh, Dark Tech LDR, I think. Uh, Critical Mass LDR. Uh, you can find it on that font. Um, I'm not really sure if, uh, if I can give people the role of moderator, but I'm not, I, th I don't think so. Um, yeah, uh, it's crazy. I also had to uh, it's it's growing like so big that I also have a uh, Discord moderator now because we also had a, tr a little bit of trouble with some people like spamming in the in the Discord. And as I'm like I'm not awake twenty four seven, so it's a little bit hard for me to. Uh, when like someone is spamming at night, I can really like uh, immediately like take action, you know. So that's why uh, our devoted member Archfiend is now uh, a Discord uh, moderator. All right, so I really like this, but I'm not really sure what I should do with it yet. So maybe like we can copy this. We can remove the smart filter. Maybe liquefy it even more. Like this. And I'll flip it to this like, uh, well, like smudge that I made. Quick question, guys. This just pops in my head, but uh, we have this national holiday called King's Day, and it's supposed yeah. to be at the end of this uh, month, where we just celebrate the birthday of our king. Um, and there's like festivals in every city, every town, everyone's celebrating. Uh, so I was uh, wondering, do you guys have like a national holiday that you want that you celebrate, or like a big party that you celebrate, when, but you couldn't because of COVID? I should probably look into moderators and stuff like that. And I'm an old person, so I'm not really like, uh, I don't understand a lot about how that works. Uh, so maybe uh, we can talk about it for a while, uh, Jackson, in the near future, if you're down to, uh, to, to that at least. Let's see. Start to make this into a 
smart object and now we can freely just transform it the way we want it to without affecting like the filters and stuff and I'll give this an outer glow like I did on the chains a little bit softer and you might have seen that my light just went off uh, <laughs> I bought some cheap li uh, studio lightings. This one, this light. Um, did you use the degene die bovenop lag? Want dat was de yeah. pot en neemt die andere. Gisteren heb ik hem laten vallen. Oh. Dan moet je anders zijn, die doet er nog. Ehm. Kan je hem pakken? Easter, Christmas. Uh, how, how old are you, Jackson? I'm 25. And I. I don't know. I feel like I, I I'm like just a little bit too old to get into like live streaming and Twitch and like the notification stuff and you know I I, I a lot of tutorials start like with without like talking about the basics I guess. But like I said on my uh, Instagram stories the uh, the other day, I might be twenty five, but I feel like eighteen. Why are you laughing? Sometimes you're like an old man with your bag. What? Sometimes you're an old man like with your bag and your neck. But people here are saying that I'm young as hell. No. And Jackson is 28. And with uh, uh, like the YouTube and stuff, you're not that up to. You don't need to buy the dice. Well, with some stuff I am. Some My girlfriend thinks I'm not up to speed enough with certain topics. No. And you're like an old man. You know, you, you know, you know where you know where the the biggest problem was for me. This is like me complaining about what. Um, I, this this sounds like uh, like lame. super like uh, lame. Lame, but dreadlocks grew a little bit too fast for me to like properly like dive into how any of those things work yeah, like 12 year olds already know that yeah that's that makes sense though like if you're like yeah. um what were you called like if you are gen you know, the, the gen after me like if you're like now 16 you kind of grew up with all that I stuff but i like gen just didn't grow up with that you know um was it, what, what, what should we call this um chains to what are we chained to today? Chained to the virus. I thought rhythm. No, that's a Katy Perry yeah, song. Yeah. <laughs> Is it really? Yeah, we're all chained to the rhythm. To oh, the yeah. rhythm. Turn up, it's your favorite song. Then I'm gonna get copyright striked. <laughs> I don't think Katy Perry is gonna recognize it as a song. You didn't know that. I know that. <laughs> I think my joke was pretty funny. <laughs> was it? Can you just give me some affirmation that my joke was in fact funny? Me? Yeah. No. Okay. This morning I made a joke and you didn't laugh, so it's payback. All right. No, it was funny. Right, I don't know what this is, but we made something. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, we can definitely help on a chat later. Uh, well, not today, uh, but uh, like sometime in the future, we'll be fine. Today's Friday. Um, yeah, I'm gonna celebrate the weekend after this. Uh, so yeah, let's just give a quick little uh, overview of what we did today. Uh, we experimented with some filters that we can use for the plexiglass, uh, dreadlabs chains. If you wanna get these, they are available in the dreadlabs web store. This is the first article that we made. We experimented kind of with the um, oil paint filters. 
uh, with this one we did a lot of with like gradients layer styles color overlays i guess and this one was just like a lot of stuff i don't know uh, marble textures oil paint filter glass effect uh, a lot but i kind of like how this came out um <laughs> we definitely do felt felix um all right so uh cool uh well guys i think i'm gonna end it off right here uh, so if you guys have any, so like any questions for me, uh, you can leave them in the chat right now. I'll try to answer them before we end stream. I'll try to save these in the process because there's kind of like a slight delay here. And like Jackson suggested, I should like uh, have like an end screen or something where you guys can still chat when I like log off or something. Uh, we should definitely like talk about uh, that later, Jack. Jackson, sorry, I have a friend named Jack. That's why I like keep confusing them. Uh, this is an archive. I, sh I need to have my current like video in the folders. Result three. Result two. And result one. Uh, yeah, I've actually asked about that a lot, Jackson, and a lot of people were fine with n without the background music so that they can um, put on music themselves. Their, uh, their but yeah, I, I, I would kind of dig like doing uh, stuff with background music as well because it's kind of silent, you know? Um, but yeah, if you uh, are down to, to talk about that in the future, I, really, I would love that. Um, right, so yeah, end result one, two, and three uh, to all the people thank you so much for uh, for tuning in today um, if you want to get these files they're available on my patreon page after arts um, as well as all of my other, pro other project files for my tutorials um, you can get these chains and the marble texture in the dreadlocks web store uh, if you are interested in selling the assets yourself uh, you can just hit us up on discord and we'll try to make that happen for you and Gabi also already like spilled a lot more of her like, little gems, so I'm gonna help her clean up uh, later. Um, all right, so um, cool. <laughs> uh, I think I'm gonna log off here. Uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, we will be here next week on Wednesday with the live podcast, and next Friday with another design session live. Um, and we got a new video coming up tomorrow, uh, which is a stream highlight of last Wednesday, if you have missed that. And another tutorial video coming next Monday. So there's a lot of Dreadlabs content coming your way. Um, this was Tom from Dreadlabs. Thank you so much for tuning in. I love each and every one of you. Uh, and I'll see you in the next